My name's Rich Harrington, and I'm joined today by Dennis Radicke from Adobe. And I want to talk about a cool piece of technology you guys rolled out, which is this integration with After Effects and Premiere Pro to actually make it easier to work with graphics. And it's called MoGertz. Can you break that down for me? It's kind sure. of a strange name. MoGertz stands for Motion Graphics Templates. So we premiered this as a feature inside of After Effects mm -hmm. and Premiere in NAB of 2017. And so what we launched at Max, Adobe Max, later that year is a motion graphics templates marketplace. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, is that lots of people need content. We talked about content velocity. People have to create more content than ever before. Right. And things like titles, well, sometimes it's just, it falls by the wayside because of the deadlines, right? Yeah. So we don't put our best foot forward. Yeah, you need lower thirds, you need title graphics for bumpers and sections, and you know, the, the truth of the reality is, is people want full-blown motion graphics and you barely have time to launch the title tool. Right, right, and, exactly. And we need something in between. Yeah, and I think that this is where the motion graphics templates marketplace really services a need because there's, it's just time. And you know, I think about the fact that our kids are in the YouTube generation, right? right. And so they have a level of media sophistication where if you don't have your act together in mm -hmm. terms of titling, then people are going to click away. Right, and a lot of videos are being watched, not listened to initially. People are scrolling through social media timelines, right. the videos are on silent, they start to autoplay. It's only when they click to engage the sound. So typography and on-screen information is actually rising in importance. Exactly, and again, Mogerts can really be a way that's an eyeball catcher that gets that person in the social media instance to click and engage with the content that you're talking about. Now you said marketplace, and so obviously the first thing that everyone hears when they hear marketplace is, oh, this is something else that's going to cost me money, and I'm not going to make any digs here, but you know, creative people across the board have been feeling the pinch of fees and subscriptions and everything else. I was so glad to see that you guys are like, let's establish this, make this easy to use, You've got hundreds of things up there for free too, right? Yeah, so we have over 150 uh, free motion graphics templates that are available for download, including a master artist collection which has some of the world's most renowned After Effects artists, including folks like Andrew Kramer. And those are all absolutely free. And the idea here is to make this technology easy for people to use because you know, the more people that use Premiere and After Effects, the better it is for Adobe too. So you want to make this a, a streamlined workflow. Now, with these motion graphics templates, how easy are they to use? I know a lot of editors and you know, folks that are doing visual finishing, like colorists as well, mm -hmm. want to know After Effects. Right. They watch classes I've produced, they read books, they, yeah. they get hands-on with it. But you know, one of the things I tell people all the time is I've written you know, three official Adobe After Effects books, and I've failed the After Effects end user certification exam right, about right. 10 times. It's hard. It, it can be a hard thing. And that, to me, uh, in developing the marketplace, that was one of the fundamental tenets that I was looking to get out there because After Effects can be really difficult to use. You talk about it being a Swiss Army knife and right. using it for the one thing, but the breadth and the depth of the tools make it a little bit harder to get all of the fundamentals. And Premiere and motion graphics templates makes this really easy. And many of those templates even have alternative looks. There's different texture overlays or things you can swap out that are built into it. You could adjust the opacity of elements. So I think one of the negative reputations that stock is getting is, oh, everything's going to look exactly like everyone else's. But this isn't like some of the stock templates that you might have downloaded in the past where all the video was pre-rendered and absolutely baked in. You can change size, speed, fonts, colors, the mixing. So it's really just a jump start. It's kind of like getting a recipe kit where all the ingredients are there ready to go, but you still have the flexibility to cook a little bit and change it up. You're absolutely right. Different colors, different frame backgrounds. Uh, in fact, sometimes just changing the whole thing because through the use of expressions in After Effects, you could have multiple comps. So I could try a slider on certain mm -hmm. uh, motion graphics templates and get a completely different look. But you, inside of Premiere Pro that are maybe secretly a little terrified about right. Adobe After Effects. You didn't have don't to drag have, it out, swap it out, I don't have it. to know anything like that. I just take a slider, I type in the text to communicate the text messaging, the name, whatever, you know, whatever I'm doing. 
I don't have to worry about it. I don't even ever have to open up After Effects. All right, so this is really quite interesting. And you mentioned that designers have contributed these. Is this a marketplace that if I'm uh, you know, decent at After Effects, I've got some good design skills, can I submit our work for consideration and sale? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, there's a number of resources that we'll make sure are available here as links uh, and resources. And yes, we're absolutely actively looking for new contributors who've got great design skills, who are looking for an opportunity. Again, maybe you have some of these graphics packages in your back pocket. Maybe you can whip them out. I've seen guys turn around incredible work in an incredibly short period of time. Broadcast designers are always good uh, at that. They're amazing, <laughs> yes. Uh, and again, submit your content for review and submission on Adobe Stock. And once that content is submitted, you are also selling these templates, and so people can earn revenue off of those sales, right? Right, exactly. So after you've looked at all those hundreds of, of free templates that are there, you know, you're looking for something. Again, a customer needs something, is looking maybe for a particular color, a particular style, a particular look, a particular animation on, and maybe they're not finding that in the over 150 free ones that we have. Well, we've got a marketplace today, already over 1,300 really high, consistent quality, uh, motion graphics templates, and they can look and, and license those for a very inexpensive price of $19.99 US. Now, it's not just text templates, too. You guys can also make transitions and put that in. Really, any After Effects element is a possibility, but it needs to tie into these motion graphic controls. Right. right? So we have titles, uh, text overlays, lower thirds, infographics, social media, and at least one other category okay. that I can't remember right sure. now. Yeah. Great, well this sounds like a great opportunity. So whether you are an editor or a colorist and you're doing finishing work and you're just looking for something to add very quickly, this will gonna unlock a lot of great things for you. Or if you are an experienced After Effects designer, this makes a lot of sense. We've put up a screen here as well as check below the post. You'll see a lot of additional resources. This is something that is documented. You know, if you are gonna create these, you have to take advantage of some scripting, but you guys have that to make it easier, right? Right, so we recognize that not everyone has the great expertise in expressions, right? Some people love to hand keyframe everything, but the reality is, is like, uh, we can type a short name, Joe, you know, John Doe, and that's, that's a certain thing. Then there's Rich Harrington, which is a little bit longer. So for example, we have an expression, if you're not very comfortable with that, that make it super easy for, if I, I type the longer name for the, the frame of the lower third to extend out to be able to encapsulate the, say, the size of the, of the text. And with that longer name, you've also made it intelligent so that, oh, keep the one second animation on and 15 frame animation off, but I can extend the middle and it will just keep the little looping texture going and so it's very smart to be dynamically sized, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're doing everything that we can right now today to make these responsive and intelligent and I'll also tell you we've got a lot of other things that we're cooking Good. that will make it even better. Good. Well, this is exciting technology. So if you have not checked out the motion graphics templates, make sure you do that over at Adobe Stock. And this is a great opportunity to jumpstart your editorial process, or if you're a designer, you may want to look at this, both to create templates that you can then submit to Adobe Stock for sale, or to create templates to use with other people within your organization or your team. Thanks for joining us. My name is Rich Harrington.